In one sense, the buildings that you see when you come to Bedford School reflect exactly what we're trying to achieve, a balance between the traditional, the iconic 19th century Victorian main building, and the modern, the architecturally award-winning music school, which was opened just a few years ago. I think also buildings only reflect something of what happens inside them. What is far more important is the nature of the people that are in the classrooms, the quality of teaching we offer, the happiness of the boys, the focus of the boys as they go about their daily business. Remember, you're trying to investigate the shape of that graph. It's helped me academically across the range of, of subjects. I mean, uh, I got some good GCC grades, which I, I was chuffed with. Certainly, my academic performance has improved whilst I've been at the school. Standards are very high here, but the teachers are approachable, they're friendly. No pupil ever feels he can't come to a teacher if he has a problem. What we want to do is we want to challenge each of those individual students' academic horizons and make sure that they achieve the potential that they're capable of achieving. There is a great focus on academic achievement in the school, but we're not just an exam factory. And uh, I think what's important in terms of the way we do things here, we do educate in the broadest possible sense. We don't want to limit them. We want to give them every single opportunity available. So our curriculum is very, very diverse. And so it gives everyone the opportunity from specialising at A level to giving them a global perspective and looking at the international baccalaureate qualification at post 16. For those who are very academic, we've got the IB system here, which has achieved very, very high standards. Same with the A-level and AS-levels, GCSEs throughout the school. Single-sex education is often something that's debated uh, ad nauseam. All the evidence suggests that actually what matters most in a child's education is the quality of the school that they're at. If you look at the extracurricular activities that we offer, often boys are doing things with girls such as CCF, music, art, drama, various societies, and get the benefits of uh, socialising. Boarding's come a long way and it's what we're trying to establish is a home from home sort of environment now. I really do think they leave with a sense of community and how to exist within one. And it makes everything at school so accessible for them as well. They, Absolutely, that they yeah. only live around the corner from school, so all the after-school activities, it doesn't make it such a long day as if they were travelling. You're a lot more independent as well, because you're doing things off your own accord. The atmosphere and definitely the people who are here definitely make it a good place to be. You learn that structure that you need for uni, for work, you know, waking up at a certain time, going to bed at a certain time, doing your work at a certain time, and knowing when to relax. Pastoral care is at the very forefront of our agenda, not just for the boarders, but also for the day pupils as well. Caring for each other is a key aspect of life at Bedford and a key lesson for boys here to learn in terms of their life beyond Bedford. At Bedford School we have a virtual learning environment where students, parents can log on and find out about what's going on in the school and it allows the boys to look back at what they've done in the classroom and at the same time stretch and challenge those boys in terms of revision, in terms of their learning and as a result this gives them the autonomy to become better learners. Academic standards are high, teachers expect boys to work hard, they expect boys to get good exam results. But in the 21st century, a school needs to be innovative as well. It needs to be at the forefront of educational thinking. It needs to offer new curriculum options. It needs to teach in a different way. It needs to take account of the way in which things are developing in a global economy. I hope that Bedford does that as well.